Greetings to you and blessings to you from God our Father, Yuvah Elohim, the Lord our God, as mentioned in the book of Joel and in the book of Amos, and Yehushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, our Messiah. <clears throat> I receive these words on um, today, February the 22nd. 2014 and they go as follows during this time of peace I desire my children to spend time with me spend time with me allow me access to your seemingly busy lives and let me spend time with you loving you and preparing you for what lies ahead some people view me as unloving vengeful uncaring, judgmental, always trying to implement wrath, a God who delights in punishing his people and making them suffer. This is a somewhat accurate description of Satan, my enemy, not me. I am a loving, long-suffering, desiring that none perish, a God of great compassion, understanding, one who has pity, not hardness of heart. The days are coming and are soon at hand when catastrophe after catastrophe, calamity after calamity, will overtake the earth. When the impostors show up, a group of beings who once served me, obeyed my voice, loved to be in my presence, when they arrive on the scene, then hell chaos and destruction soon follow. Warn my people, it is not just calamity from the solar system, for example, meteors, so, uh, sun flares. It is not just calamities on the earth, volcanoes, earthquakes, a pole shift, and ferocious weather. But when these fallen ones arrive on the scene, <clears throat> then life as you currently know it will begin to change forever. Wars, rumors of wars, famine, pestilence, death. These will all accelerate shortly after their arrival. Those of my people left behind will have a short time to mourn after realizing they missed the snatching away, the rescue mission. I will give them a short space of time to gather their thoughts, to mourn their losses, and prepare mentally, physically, and spiritually for what lies ahead. During these days, it is of the utmost importance to seek me out. Establish and maintain a relationship with me. Tell my children they must pull themselves together. All is not lost for them. They will have another chance to prepare to meet me, although it will be relatively short in duration. It will be very intense as well. Tell my children whether they are received unto me in the first wave of evacuation or rescue or in the later wave. I shall honor my word and promises to them. They must prepare themselves to meet me. They must address the reoccurring sin in their lives and ask for forgiveness. They must repent, change direction of their lives if needed change from heading towards darkness <clears throat> to heading towards the light as I am the light my people need to pray 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 they need to pray that they are counted worthy to escape all these things and to stand before the Son of Man there is work to be done my children work to be done in getting in the harvest pray that I'm send additional laborers to assist you in this harvest. Keep your eyes and focus on me, Yehushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And remember, I am your king and high priest, but I am also your brother and friend if you are of me. In my father's house there are many mansions. I have gone before you and prepared them for you. They await your arrival. <clears throat> No matter how bad you think you have it now, 
or in the future, rest assured the glory and the esteem to follow is more than worth it for my people. A little while longer, and then I will appear suddenly without warning to rescue my faithful bride who has spent her time wisely preparing to meet her bridegroom. I love you, my children. Remember, an important key is to always remain faithful to me. Don't deny my name under <clears throat> pardon me, any circumstances. Refuse the mark of the beast. Do not take it at any cost. Look up, for your redemption draws near. Okay. That's the word I received um, today. February the 22nd, 2014. Um, things are happening. Um, there may be questions on the arrival of these beings he mentioned. They are the fallen angels mentioned um, in the Bible. Uh, just as in the days of Noah, it'll be also um, <clears throat> in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. In the days of Noah, there were fallen angels that were um, manifesting them, themselves among the people. Well, he's given us a heads up. It's going to happen again. I don't have the day, the time, or the hour. He's just given the, the initial warning to don't be surprised if um, some masquerading entities show up and claim to be something they are not. And um, the Lord wants us to be aware that they once served him. They rebelled. They're in total rebellion against him. They rejected him. And um, they've joined the team of Satan. And they're fighting against you and I and against the Most High. And, of course, they're going to lose. And we all know that. But they are given a space to um, perform their mischief, I suppose, is one way of putting it. Uh, they get a certain allotted time to be manifested one more time before men and to try to deceive them, meaning men, uh, <clears throat> And uh, just like in the days of Noah, it's going to be that way again. And for those that are asleep, and those not paying attention, when these entities, these super beings, quote unquote, show up, that will grab their attention. But also, as he said, when they show up not far behind, death, hell, and destruction follow. Uh, it's not going to be a pleasant time to be here. So I love you, my brothers and sisters. Continue to pray. Continue to reach out. Pray for the lost. Pray for the martyrs, those people that are giving their lives today in honor and service to our King. Pray for your family and your loved ones. <clears throat> pray that the Lord will send more laborers to the harvest. And uh, do your best to get ready, uh, continue to get ready for things that um, could get dicey here shortly. And um, as I have received and many others have also, it's going to uh, be a thing after thing after thing. When it starts going, it's going to go pretty quick. Catastrophe after catastrophe, calamity after calamity. And now we're going to have these fallen ones added to the mix so um, just keep looking up keep repenting if need be keep praying keep fasting if the Lord calls you to fast then fast um, stay your hearts and your minds your souls your your whole being just get into the Lord God most high and his only begotten son Yeshua as best you can Pray them off and fellowship with them. They want to help you get ready. And um, fellowship is the best way that they can put your minds at ease and give you rest and peace and give you the strength and courage to face what lies ahead. As far as the rescue mission, the rapture is concerned, I don't have a day or an hour. Um, 
you know, I don't, uh, I do have personal beliefs. Um, my personal belief is that we will be here for part of these events to occur. Uh, whether we're going to be here, here for the uh, fall of the ones to show up, that I'm not clear on. But I know we, or I believe anyway, that we'll be here for some pretty pretty rough ride, pretty rough times uh, before the rescue mission occurs. Our Heavenly Father and our Lord are masters of timing. Whenever they determine the time is right, and not until then, but when the time is just right, that's when the rescue mission will occur. And uh, there's a lot going on in the news, a lot going on in the world, but uh, the Lord wants us to focus on Him, not the things of this world, but, but Him, knowing that He can deliver you out of any and all things. If you call on Him, believe Him, get your life straight, get your house in order, so to speak. <clears throat> Trust in Him, and He should deliver you. And you should deliver me. So until next time, I love you. Yah bless you. And talk to you again.